Hey everyone. So I wanted to make a little Hedgehogs 101 video. Things you should know if you're going to get a Hedgehogs and just some facts about Hedgehogs. So first off, Hedgehogs can live up to eight years and this girl right here is close to six years. I know she's over five. I'd have to look up her exact birthday, but she's close to six years. Really nice girl. Been healthy her whole life. So they can live up to eight years. Some people have asked me, are they really bonding pets that um, you know really interact with the owner and I'd have to say you know they don't really interact that much but I've had people hold Jasmine here and uh, even my girlfriend currently says Jasmine likes me more because she seems to not curl up with me as much as other people although she doesn't curl really with anyone too much she seems to be just calmer with me so they will bond a little bit but don't expect them to be like a cat or dog that really like craves your attention or anything like that it's more like say I've, I've never owned a guinea pig but I'd say it's more kinda like a guinea pig they can be tame they can be handled and kinda like like you and know you but they don't really crave attention from humans which is fine um, there's tons of different types of pets out there you just gotta decide if that's something for you what I like is that I can leave for a couple days and she'll be okay and I use a water bottle I recommend water bottles even though some people say don't use them reason why I recommend them and people have arguments all the time so we don't have to argue about this if you're pro water bowl that's fine I'm pro water bottle and there's a couple reasons with a water bowl the hedgehog is going to walk through its bowl and it's going to dirty up its bowl get poop in its bowl and so on and you're going to have to clean that bowl twice a day otherwise that hedgehog is going to be drinking poop and bacteria and nasty stuff with a water bo uh, bottle here the water stays clean lasts for a few days get a big bottle like this and it lasts up to a week even and then if I'm gonna go away for a couple days it will still be fine I, I won't have to worry about it if I go away for a couple days I don't even need a babysitter for her if I'm gone for let's say just two or three nights for food I use mainly high quality cat food something like grain free uh, instinct I use sometimes I use blue buffalo and I also often throw in some freeze-dried mealworms got a lot of them and I find that my uh, hedgehogs don't go after live insects all that much but they do go do eat the freeze-dried insects so I'll just put a little part in their cage you can get a bowl I usually just part out a little bit of the bedding and that's where I put her food just put in the cat food today you can also seed some veggies and fruits just look online and find a list for their bedding the cheapest easiest thing you can do is aspen it's safe. People are concerned about wood chip bedding. Aspen is safe. I've used it for over 40 hedgehogs for years. Never had an illness in any of my hedgehogs. And you just make sure that you do not use pine or cedar. Only aspen. Pine and cedar are softer woods and they have too much dust. Aspen is just fine and it's a nice low cost. It's going to be the best for the hedgehog and the best for the owner in terms of good for the hedgehog and good cost for you. Some hedgehogs can have something called wobbly leg disease, which will usually show up in the first year, and it can be um, deadly for them. So you want to make sure you do buy from a reputable breeder. Hopefully you can find uh, some information on the person you're buying from and see how long they've been doing this and look at some of their hedgehogs. Um, but basically it's, it's hard to tell before they have it if they're going to get it. So you just got to buy from a good source good price on these guys is anywhere I've seen from 65 up to 250 I've seen them priced so they can go for a, you know a wider range of prices but the price doesn't change how good they are I've seen very nice calm tame ones at uh, animal expos for 65 and then I've seen mean ones at pet stores for you know 250 so the price doesn't necessarily mean if they're better or not it just means what they are priced by the breeder or the seller Males and females don't matter. I get questions all the time. Is it better to get a male or better to get a female? It doesn't matter. I've had perfectly nice males and females. This girl right here is a female, but uh, her dad, which I had, she was <coughs> she was bred in my house. Her dad was a male, and her dad was an awesome guy. Very calm, never scared, never curled up. So male or female doesn't matter. And uh, for food, some people ask how much do you feed. I honestly just throw in a handful a day and as long as my hedgehog doesn't look like she's getting too large or too small then that's fine if uh, they seem to be getting too big or too small just adjust accordingly and give a little bit less or a little bit more she's a fairly large girl but she's not overly fat <laughs> she's also old like 
like we uh, talked about. Now you should also have a wheel in the cage and as you see there's not currently one in here. She's an older girl and I uh, need to get her a new wheel so she can exercise a little bit but she hasn't had one for a little while now. But you should have a wheel in the cage especially for young hedgehogs and old hedgehogs. But you should get a plastic wheel, solid bottom preferably is what most people say. I've used all types of wheels, I haven't had a problem. But a solid plastic wheel, I don't think I have any right out to show you next to me to grab. But a solid bottom plastic wheel is the best you can, uh, you can choose. And then once you uh, have a hedge for, hog for a while, see they can become very tame. She's just like, hey. <clears throat> but I just wanted to go over a few things. They're really easy to keep. For heating, you want to have them around 72 to 84 degrees. And most of the time, most house temperatures are okay if you put a small uh, heat light by them. Never use a heat pad. My hedgehogs are in a pet room that stays around 75 degrees all the time. So I don't need any heating. But if you did need some heating, if it's ever below 72 degrees, you'd want to get a small light, like this one I have in my turtle tank, or this one right over here. I know they're dusty from my birds. Get a small light of about 25 watts only and hang it on the side of the cage. I would take this, you know, hang it on the side and then point it into the hedgehog cage. Just a small, like, 25 watt. You don't want to make this thing too hot, because a small 25 watt over a tank like this will heat up the tank, you know, a few degrees and make it safe for them. If it's too cold, they can hibernate and die. Uh, they will not hibernate well in captivity. They will die. So you have to make sure you keep them above 70, preferably up above 72. Somewhere in the 72 to 77 range is ideal. So get a lamp like this with a small heat light in it and just attach it to the cage. You should have a one level cage. Hedgehogs are very clumsy. You do not want two levels in here. They can fall. So make sure there's only one level of at least four square feet and the larger you can get the better. I have a video on these tubs. They're very great cages. You can get them in all different sizes from tiny to large. Of course, as a hedgehog, you want a large uh, tub here. And all you got to do, if you're using a water bottle, is make a water bottle hole. Or, if you're using a water dish, you're all set. And, you know, why buy a $100 glass tank when you can make a 100-gallon tub for, you know, 20 bucks? So, I just wanted to go over a little Hedgehog 101, things you should know. Handling them, you don't have to worry about either. The spikes don't really hurt. I've never once bled from a hedgehog, but they can be a little spiky. And uh, if you want, wear some gloves until you're used to your hedgehog. So just like, like I was about to say, I just wanted to go over a few things with hedgehogs. So if you're looking into getting one, you know. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. And also check out my other extensive videos on hedgehog care and how to handle hedgehogs and such like that. You can just search my channel for hedgehogs to find uh, most of my videos. So happy pet keeping. We'll see you all later.